Heroic has the highest CT win percentage in the last 3 months against top 20 opponents. Standing above all of his teammates is Tessus with a 1.09 HLTV rating. Hey, I'm Smirk and today I want to have a look at Tessus and how he locks down ramp on the CT side of Nuke, so let's begin. When Tessus is going to ramp, he has 3 common things he will do. He will either run to ramp and throw a smoke and a grenade into control. He can throw the same utility except get more aggressive and watch the smoke. And lastly, if he doesn't have a grenade, he will just play around the smoke. At the start of the round, Tessus will use his smoke and grenade control. This is to prevent a rush or any peaks from the tees. We can see after he does the utility, he's going to hide behind this big box and wait for any pushes. He'll clear in front of the smoke to make sure no one's lurking, then he'll choose a position to hold from. Once again, Tessus is doing his normal utility, he's going to come towards ramp, he's going to play behind the big boxes. He will then check the front of the smoke to make sure that no tees are lurking through it. Once he feels comfortable, he will fall back towards the ramp and play at a headshot angle. Once again, Tess is coming to ramp, he's doing the exact same util, except this time he's going to play towards ramp on a headshot angle. If a T had decided to run out the smoke, they may be pre in the headshot angle towards ramp, so being on top of this railing can be an off angle for the T's, since their crosser is nowhere near Tessus. Once he feels comfortable, he's going to multi ramp and rotate to heaven to help here. If a T decided to run through the smoke while aiming towards headshot, it's likely they would die. Due to them not being able to move the crosshair from headshot towards the CT on top of the railing at such a short time. For the CT's POV, if a T tried to run through the smoke, it's very easy for the CT to get the kill due to the T getting grey screened. Once again, Tess is coming towards ramp, he does his U-tail and he plays towards the headshot angle. He watches it for a bit, he gets on top of the railing and he clears the front of the smoke. When Tessus wants to play aggressive, he's going to do the same util he does on a default, except this time when he has a good spawn, he's going to peek in front of the smoke straight away. If the T's are sounded to rush ramp, they're going to meet the nade on contact and then Tessus will be waiting behind the smoke, ready for his easy kills. Unfortunately, I don't have an example where this actually worked, however, I'll use Zipex as an example. Against Liquid, he did the exact same utility set, and you can see the nade is about to reach Team Liquid as they go for the smoke. Because of it, it does a lot of damage to Team Liquid, making him slow and low and this will allow Zipex just to spray him down. Once again, Tess is doing the exact same thing, smoking, naded and then peeking in front of the smoke. He doesn't see any T's, so he's going to rotate towards air through heaven. There was a scenario where Tess didn't have a HE, but only a smoke. So because of this, he's going to throw the smoke, he's going to wait behind big box, going to wait for any flashes to go off to indicate the T's are rushing. He doesn't hear anything, so he's going to pop his head up and he'll clear in front of the smoke. Alright, let's move on to angles. Whenever Tessus is playing ramp, this is his favourite angle to play. It's a headshot angle towards the T's. If a T decided to swing into ramp with their back towards the wall, only their head will be showing, making an easy kill for Tessus. If they decided to swing close, most of their body will show, and once again, an easy kill for Tessus. From a CT's POV, you're going to catch the T's off guard as they're trying to clear other angles, and it's just an easy kill for you. From a T's POV, if you're trying to look at ramp and clear your angles, you're actually going to be open towards the headshot angle that Tessus likes to play. And the headshot angle is a difficult angle to clear without exposing yourself to other angles, such as hell or big box. Once again, Tessus is playing towards ramp, a flash comes in from Fizz. Tessus dodges the flash, he gets the first kill into Carrigan, and now he has two options. He can either stay towards ramp and try and get another kill, but will likely die, or he can fall back towards the B site safely. In this scenario, he decides to stay and try and go for more, but he does get punished for it. As a ramp player, you either want to get one kill and fall back towards the B side, or you want to go for two or more. If you only get one kill onto the T and die, it's not very costly for the T's as they get the trade and they have so much space to work with now. They can wrap heaven, they can go back towards lobby, or they could run to the B side. However, if you get a kill and fall back towards ramp, your team have the man advantage and you still have B control. Once again, Tess is playing the same headshot angle. The T smoke come in, so to counter it, he's going to molotov the ramp to make sure no one can push. He's then going to go on top of the smoke and use the T smoke as a one way. Tessa jumps on top of the box, he doesn't see any T's, so he comes to his team that's a fake towards ramp and it could be A. Another position that Tessa likes to play is behind this big box. From here, Tessa could watch any T's trying to go out of control, or he could hide behind it and wait for any T's to lurk out. 
Occasionally he will bop his head up to see if he can catch any TDs off guard. If Tessus has an org, he likes to play towards the back of ramp and watch down into Trophy. From here, you can get the early info if there aren't any T's towards Trophy. This will allow the rotations come towards ramp a lot quicker. Once again, Tessus is playing towards the back of ramp with his org. He keeps his distance so he has the range advantage. When Tessus goes to ramp with Kadian, there's two common setups I've seen them use. Kadian is going to be around peeking down into Trophy Room. Meanwhile, Tessus is in front of the Molotov. They're going to hold this position and wait for any peaks. However, they get nothing, so Kadian's going to rotate. Once again, they're doing something very similar. Kadian's peeking down into Trophy. Tessus is in front of the Molotov, while Kadian's peeking down into Trophy. Once the Molotov goes, they're both actually going to push. Tessus is going to push first into Trophy Room, clear his angles. Meanwhile, Kadian's watching any peaks from radio. They're both going to push into Lobby. They're going to get a double kill. And not only does this win them the round, this also wins them the map. Here's the other setup that I've seen Kadian and Tessa shoes. In this round, Tessa is going to be close to the wall. Meanwhile, Kadian drops down from hell and peeks into ramp. Kadian is going to jump down from heaven into hell and then peek towards ramp. He's going to hold Tessa's back and he's going to wait for any contact. As soon as Kadian gets contact, Tessa will turn and will fight any opposition. We have a scenario where Tess decided to go lower B early. In this round, he's going to smoke and flash control. He's going to jump down ramp, jump through window, and then go towards double. Heroic has the read that the T's might go down secret early and try and gain control. So to counter this, Tess is going to also go down B early and try and stop this. Once he's towards double, he's going to Molotov and then he's going to jump peak secret. We can see the jump peak that Tess uses is to hit his head on top of the door and then go up and down. If Tessus didn't use the door frame, his head will go a lot higher into the air, allowing the teaser a bigger opportunity to kill him. So as a result, this is one of the safest ways to jump peek. He's then going to throw a grenade behind the Molotov to deal any damage to the teas who are waiting behind it. In this case, it deals 50 damage to Twists. Tessus will spot Twists going up and Refresher will kill him. After watching a couple of Tessus demos, I've noticed that he's quite patient as he's happy to sit in an angle for the majority of the round and not feel the need to push or maneuver around ramp. He's really diligent on whenever the T's do something. For example, if the T's decide to throw a smoke towards ramp, he's not going to sit there and wait for the T's to do something. He's going to jump on top of the smoke, he's going to clear it, and he's going to come to his teams that it's a fake and they could be going there. Lastly, I've noticed that he's a quite confident player. He's happy to hold these headshot angles where it requires good aim and fast reaction times to hit him. Using the map zone to unleetify, we're able to look at Tessa's positioning towards ramp. If we click towards the headshot angle that he likes to play, you can see the spots where the enemies are dying when he's playing towards the headshot angle, and you can pretty much use this feature throughout the map zone tool and even see where you're dying. If you have a play in a position you want me to break down next, feel free to put it in the comments below and I'll look. If you want more content like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel as I'm doing a lot more videos like this. Perhaps you want to know how to execute the A site like Fizz on Nuke. I have a Twitter special video that you can view in the description. Big thank you for Leeds 5 for having me. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.